Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, where are you going? <laughs> All right, today we're going to play ball with Riley, I guess. Ready? change the um, hydrostatic fluid and filters and a Hustler Raptor SD zero turn. So uh, stick around, I'll show you how. Yeah, so first thing we'll do is we'll get this off the ground so we can get the tires off, get them out of the way. All right, so now we'll take three eights. We'll take this guard off. Should be three. So I have a 65 and 68 millimeter. It's got two different sizes down inside. That's 68, 65. This is a filter wrench for my uh, John Deere, but it fits perfect. So we'll use that one. All right, so we're ready to uh, I'll clean up the the um, where the filter mounts, but uh, going with the actual Hustler Hydro Gear commercial part number five two one one four five two one one four, and that's the actual uh, Hustler part number. And then I went with the hydrostatic transmission oil from Hustler <clears throat> SAE twenty W fifty. Uh, the service manual says you can use um, motor oil, 20W50 and SAE, or if you're going to run full synthetic, you can do 15W50, full synthetic oil. So um, either way, or you can just do this. It's about, this should take just about a gallon, it says. It's just under two quarts for each side, roughly. So we'll see where that falls. But uh, let's, uh, we'll get the... We'll get the O-ring with new oil on it, get the filter on, then we'll go to the other side. Alright, everything's clean. Now we'll just we'll just put a little uh, new oil on that uh, seal and we'll reinstall this and then we'll go to the other side.
All right, so it says to tighten it up till it stops and then turn it three quarters. So, so we'll put this on. That's flat across, so we gotta turn this three quarters. There's a half, three quarters. There. And it also, and like I said, it says that right on the uh, oil to gasket and then tighten three quarters to one turn after gasket contacts base. After uh, I run it, I'll make sure it's not leaking. Okay, so that's done, that's done. Same thing on this side. Hey, one thing, these suckers are on there. some new oil on the filter seal and then we'll reinstall this Turn it till it stops. <clears throat> Hand tight. I put this on here. Got my lines on here so I can tell which way I'm going here. So we're going to go three quarters to one turn. So there's there's a half. Three quarters. And I'm good with that, so. There. Just like that. tighten these because they're plastic so I'm just going to snug them up good enough and then we'll put the wheels back on torque the wheels and then we'll lower it down and then we got on the back side of here up on top there's two vent plugs and I'll show uh, I'll show that to you but we got to remove those vent plugs and then fill the reservoir and there's two hoses that come off the bottom of the reservoir that fills both of these simultaneously. So if you fill that reservoir and you don't take the um, 
the bleed screws out of the top, the vent tubes or the vent plugs, you're not going to get any oil to drain into your uh, transmissions. So we'll have to take those vent plugs out. Okay, so now we'll torque the lug nuts to 70 foot pounds. Seventy point six. Okay, so we'll do the other side. All right, so this time, this side, we're going to do torque cam. Seventy point three. Six torque cam seventy point three. Seventy point three. All right, we're all done with the wheel torques. Now we'll go on to removing those plugs. See if I can get you guys in here. So inside on each transmission, way up in here, way up in there, right above my finger, there's a plug, a vent plug. So you gotta get those out of there so this vent, and it's not very easy to get to. This is a, let's see what size wrench this is. Not very easily, I'll tell you that. Looks like it's got a O-ring on it. Ugh. Which it does. It's got a little O-ring on it, so don't lose that. Okay. I think I got you in here. You gotta be a octopus or You gotta get this is real fun. 
one of those knuckle busters. Ugh. That one was on a little bit. Get you up in there somehow. The easiest, is it? Gotta have a couple more hands. One to hold the camera, and then one to hold the wrench, one to hold the flashlight. I'm gonna win. I don't care what you say, plug. Ah, yeah. Whew. I don't lose my o ring. I'll make sure I oil that. I'll set these right back here. All right, so here's the uh, reservoir tank. And it says, and it's got a thing on the side for cold and hot. It says when uh, the fluid is cold, it should be at the lower level. When it's hot, it's up here. So when we fill this, if you look inside, there is two tubes. And it drains, it drains the tank into both at the same time. So as we're filling this a quarter at a time, it should go down the tubes both. And then... Uh, when you pull those plugs, that's what allows the fluid to drain into each uh, transmission. So what we'll do is we'll do one quart at a time, and then we'll check it after three to make sure it's not coming out the vents. And then we will add the last little bit, and we'll this, this tank should stay to the cold setting. It says once it's full... Um, or each uh, transmission side should have just under two quarts each so we should take just about that whole gallon that I have okay so we'll go one quart at a time just to make sure everything's flowing right so we got a fill line right here that I got marked 16 ounces or yeah 16 ounces is half a quart so we'll do half a quart and then half a quart that don't hold the whole 32 ounces, so. All right, so there's a half a quart. We'll put that in, see how it flows. Probably take a little while for it to drain down. <clears throat> so we'll see. <clears throat> now we can put another half a quart in there, so we'll be ready. Alright, so there's this will be one full quart in here. It's slowly draining. All right, so that tank is almost full. Right there. So that tank looks like it holds almost a quart. So we'll let that drain down. And we'll go for another one. Another half a quart. You can see it on there, slowly draining. I put the light behind it so you could actually see inside the tank. I mean, it's 2050, so it's kind of 
thick, so it's going to take a little bit to drain through that uh, those two rubber hoses that go to each transmission. So. Patience is a virtue, I hear. So, I guess we'll have to have patience. This, this will be two quarts once I get this one in. We'll go, we'll go slow with this one. I don't want to, because this will overfill the tank. But bring it right up to the top. I'm assuming. Better slow down with this one. Right to the top. Okay, so that's two quarts. Let's go another half a quart. So we're two and a half quarts in right now. This will be three quarts right here. That should put us close to where we got to put the plugs, the vent plugs in. Okay, so this is three, this is a total of three quarts that's draining down. After this, we'll look underneath, make sure there's still nothing coming out the, uh, the two vent plug holes. And then we'll put another half a quart in, check it again. And then probably, that's where I'm going to probably stick something inside one of those to see how far the oil is below those vent plugs. Slowly going down. Still nothing coming out the vent, the vent plug, so we're, we're still good there. Alright, so there's just probably about, about a quarter of an inch in the bottom of that. So we'll do a, another half. We'll do another half a quart and then we'll see how the plugs are doing. Let's see if it's draining yet. If it starts coming out those vent plugs, we're going to have to hurry up and put those plugs in or else it's going to be a mess. Alright, so there's three and a half. Now I'm going to have to keep an eye out. <clears throat> Alright, still nothing, still nothing coming out the vent tube, so them are, or the vent plugs, so that's good. And we're down to about an inch in this tank. Got about an inch left. And we're almost down, we're almost down to the cold line. And that's where that's where uh, we're supposed to end up <clears throat> when we have all four, just about all four quarts in that. So this should be getting close to where it's going to start coming out those vent plugs, because I only got a half a quart left in this. And right now, right now we're just above the cold line, according to the side of this tank. I'm going to get these ready. I'll get a little oil off these. Get some, get some oil on the O-rings. There's one. There's two. All right, we've got some oil on these. All right, so there, it's all drained out. This, the tank's empty, and I got a half a quart left. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to take a piece of 
wire and I'm gonna stick it in there a little bit and just to kind of hook it in there somehow here and just see if I can feel if there's any oil see if there's any oil on it just on the very tip so just on the very tip there's oil so it's got to be close it's only got to be, yeah, it's got to be almost to the bottom of that hole. So I'm going to put uh, some more in that. And while that's draining in, I'm going to go down and I'm going to put the plugs in. So I'm going to do about a, about, I would say, I don't know, what do we got here? Eight, about eight ounces. I'm going to do half of a half a quart. We'll get that in there, get that start flowing. And then I'll go down, put those plugs in. Because once I put the plugs in, this is going to go really slow. All right, this should be interesting. There is no room. Absolutely no room. That's not too bad. Also been when I was taking it out, the, um, the O-ring was holding it up because that didn't that didn't go in very bad. All right, so I just got to get it tight now. And we'll do the other side. tight they gotta be triple jointed to get in there all right there we go there we go where's my wrench all right where's the wrench There it is. There it is. Now the wrench is stuck. And a linkage. Whew. Okay. So now I got a half a quart, just over a half a quart, I would assume, left. And that tank is empty. So now we got to fill it according to the side here. Be down here. Right there, it says cold level. All right, so I'm going to watch the side. Right there says cold. If you look, if you look down in there, it's draining very slow now that we got the plugs in there, your vent plugs. So now we just got to do that until it stops draining because then your transmission, uh, you know, on each side are full. Okay, so it stopped bubbling, which means it's done draining. So, and then we have... Try to get you in there. But, um, it's right on the cold line. The cold line is right down where my finger is. So, fluid's cold. It's at the cold line. And we should be good. If, uh, if you like this video, give it a like. And put your comments down below if, uh, you know, if you see something I've missed or something that I should have done or you know or if you enjoyed it let me know and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video thanks again
Oh, 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 oh.